the difference between American and European commercials. Why do I get the feeling we're going to talk about it right now? Have you ever noticed how European commercials have a different way of telling the story? Yeah, well, they have a different attitude over there. Well, there is a reason for that. What is it, Jill? When television first started in America, the commercial writers came from radio. That's why our commercials have a lot of words. Hey, my name is Lou Potenza, and I drive a Trans Am. Now, I would never do a commercial for something I didn't believe in. I mean, like if they asked me, I would also do one for that gum, that squish that stuff in your mouth, because I like that also. Now, this Trans Am, <laughs> you listen to me, it is the machine, and I think it's the best. Lou Potenza speaks the truth. Hey, you call me, I'll tell you right to your face. Well, what, they don't use all them words on a European commercial? <laughs> no. Oh. Because in Europe, they didn't have as much commercial radio. So when television started, because it was a visual medium, they went to visual people, artists, film directors. Did you know that Italian film director Federico Fellini has directed television commercials? Mm. So has French legend Jean-Luc Godard. Very classy company. Nazdarovia. A toast to Count Pushkin, the spirit of old imperial Russia. A drink of Tsars. Count Pushkin, the noblest name in vodka. city in China. So I always bring a bar of Wright's coal tar soap, just in case. Wright's coal tar soap. I keep it handy if I'm getting into hot water. The European commercials have a style all their own, even for something as ordinary as dinner for man, or man's best friend. Futter mit frischem Fleisch und frischer Leber. Frohlich schmeckt jedem Hund. Jeden Tag. What's it like to be single in a world that's made for couples? Is it the carefree party life or endless reminders that you're on your own? Chateaubriand is for two, sir. What's it really like being single in Australia? Is there anyone sitting here? Oh, no. Thanks. A table for one, only in this week's Sunday Telegraph. International commercials have a very different perspective on the story. 
depend on selling the product. One of my favorite things about them is that they usually have a surprise ending, like these three. Since we took Terry to see the dolphins, he thinks he is one. You can't get him out of the water. He's even fussy about the fish he eats. So I'm glad Bird's Eye brought out these junior fish fillets. Tasty, kid-sized fillets from the best part of the fish. And they're oven fried. Terry! Dinner! Bird's Eye Junior Fillet from the best part of the fish. He must have bought it. If you'd got a radio rental, you could have changed your set and kept pace with new ideas. Like Super Sound and FST. Huh. <laughs> Sir! It's Chuck! He's in trouble! <laughs> Chuck, come in! Come in, Chuck! He's got a problem with the vertical hole. Quick, man, adjust the vertical hole! Civic and a radio rental. You'll be glued to our sets, not stuck with them. It really all comes down to how you look at things. And when it comes to romance, there's nothing like a European love story. International pictures. Now take a look at an American commercial where the words paint a very different picture. Coming up from New Zealand, the ultimate Dear John letter. Most men would